Hi, my name's Deb from Aussie Mail and welcome to one of our Chainmail Basics videos. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. It's really good to see you here. Today I'm going to be doing the Byzantine or Byzantine weave, depending on how you like to pronounce it. I like Byzantine because then I can shorten it down to biz. Sounds much better than shortening it down to buys. But anyway, today I'm going to teach you a basic Byzantine weave. It's generally the weave that everybody starts with, and it's certainly the weave that I started with. Um, it's one of those weaves that looks complicated, but it isn't all that tricky at all. So anyway, guys, great for a beginner. So sit back, watch, and um, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here's a small sample piece of Byzantine today. So this is in 16 gauge AWG 532nds of an inch or 3.97 millimeter ID rings. Um, you can do this weave in various other gauges and ring sizes and I will list all of those down below in the description tab for you. But as I said, today we're going to be using 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire um, and we're going to do a ring ID of 5 30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters and I'll be showing you how to create this weave in the two colors that you can see here. Okay to start our uh, two colored Byzantine bracelet I'm going to close two of our anodized rings Okay, and I'm going to pop a twist tie. So if you've got a twist tie or a piece of wire, um, a paper clip, anything like that to uh, put through your first pair of rings, it makes it easier to hang on to and, and keep control of your weave. Okay, so once you've got those two rings there in place, I'm going to grab one of our bright and medium rings, our BA rings, and I'm going to feed it through both of those rings there. Close your ring up. Okay, and repeat with a second ring. In Byzantine, we always work in pairs of rings. So wherever you place one ring, you need to place a second. Okay, and we've got two rings in there and we're going to put another set of bright aluminium rings in. Because another rule you need to remember with Byzantine is we work in pairs of three, um, or three pairs, I should say. So we're going to pop the last of our third pair of rings in. So it's another BA ring, okay? So that we've got now a chain of three rings. We've got some AA, some BA, and some BA. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to hold on to the bright the anodized aluminium rings in our chain and these bright aluminium rings on the end we're going to separate those out so that we've got one sitting on each side of our chain and we're going to fold them all the way back so they sit against our chain and we're going to give them a little bit of a squeeze and we were going to hold those in place so once you've done that you want to make sure that that pair of rings that's poking out there on top, that they're actually separated out a little bit. Because our next ring, we're going to go down through here, straight through here and pick up these two rings here, which are the rings that we just folded back. So if you can see that little space there, that's where our next ring is going to go. And that ring is going to be one of our colored rings, our AA rings. So open up one of those rings, and as I said, feed it straight through that gap there so that you pick up both of those rings that you folded back. And then once you've gone all the way through, close that up. And of course, repeat with a second anodized ring. Okay. Oops. And then once you've placed that ring in there, and closed it up, you've completed half of a Byzantine unit. Okay, so now we just want to complete the rest. 
So the last set of rings that we just placed there, they become our first pair of rings in our chain of three. And we then want to put two bright aluminium rings and they become our second pair of rings. And then of course we need three pairs of rings to make Byzantine. So we add one more pair of bright aluminium rings to our chain. Okay. And then once we've got those three pairs in place again, so you can see them there, one, two, three, holding onto our work, we want to flip back the end pair of rings so they sit one on each side, take them all the way back and pinch them against our work. If it hasn't separated out, separate those two edge rings there so that you can see that gap, okay? Remember this gap in here where we're going to place our next ring just in there and then taking one of your coloured rings you want to feed it through that gap, making sure you pick up both pairs of both sets of rings in there. Okay, you see that we've gone through both sets of rings. Close that up and repeat with a second ring. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's your first completed Byzantine unit in two colours. And we just keep repeating those steps until you reach the length that you need. So I'll just do that again with you. So the last pair of rings that we just placed, that becomes the first in our group of three. We then want to place two more pairs of our bright aluminium as we have been doing. Remember we work in pairs, so there's one, and two and we want to do one more pair of rings so that we've got our three rings in place or our three pairs in place I should say okay so there we go you can see now that we've got our three sets of rings one two three and then holding our work, we flip back that end pair of rings, so there's one on each side of our chain. We squish them all the way back against our work, give it a little squeeze, and generally these two rings here separate. If they don't separate, go in and separate them out so that you can see that space in there. And then picking up one of your anodized rings, feed it through that space, making sure you've got both of those rings picked up. Okay, close that up. And remember, where you put one ring, you need to put another. So we're going to feed that through there and close that up. Okay, and you can just see that we're continuing the pattern down. So again, that's our first set of rings. We want to put two more pairs of rings because we want a chain of three they're going to both be bright aluminium both sets of rings so we'll just pop those into place now okay and one more set to make up the three pairs Okay, so there we are with our three pairs of rings, you can see those there. We're going to hold on to our chain, our end pair of rings we're going to flip apart, so there's one on each side of our chain, we're going to squash that against our chain like that, okay? Usually when you give it a bit of squeeze, sometimes these rings separate, but it's no problem if they don't, you can just separate them out so that you can see that space there through the middle 
okay? And taking up a pair of anodized rings this time, we're going to feed it through that space and lock all those rings into place. So straight through that space just there, close it up, and repeat with a second. So you just keep repeating that pattern until you reach the length that you require. And then to just finish your bracelet off, you would just take another one perhaps of your bright aluminium rings okay feed that through your last pair of rings that you have and then before you close that down you would pop on your clasp in this case it's just a simple lobster clasp but whatever clasp you've got okay close that up and then on the other end you would remove the twist tie add another ring and you would have your Byzantine bracelet well, hi guys, that's the video today. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share the video. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave those down below in the comment section. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, you're not a subscriber to our channel yet, then think about doing that. That would be awesome. And hit the bell while you're at it so that you get notifications every time that we upload something here to YouTube. If you did find this video helpful and you're wanting to um, have a look at some other um, beginner friendly videos then check out the other videos that are in our chainmail beginners playlist you'll find a few there to help you along and uh, guys don't forget while you're here to check out our store link up there in the corner you'll be able to find all the tools and components that you need for this and many other tutorials that we have here on youtube all right, guys, thanks for popping along and sharing your day with me. And hopefully I will catch you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.